Thank you, thank you to that wonderful introduction. You held that note kind of long, Tammy. You got in. Thank you. Jeff told me you were doing vocals in the car when he, you picked him up, son. <laughs> it was so early in the morning, he must have been hallucinating. Well, that's possible. I'm not going to touch that, but how's everybody doing tonight at the Velvet Note? Oh, <clears throat> thank you for coming out. Um, you really need to give Tamara a round of applause due to the fact that uh, I was playing in Savannah this weekend and she somehow got wind of it and said, hey, hey, you're going to be in the town. And uh, is Mr. Watts going to be with you? I said, uh, yeah. And I told her where I, what, what's happening. She said, why don't you bring him back to the Velvet Noah? And here we are. So give her a round of applause. Cause this brother knows a lot, lot more. Y'all got to do more, you know. You know, it's really an honor to be playing with this gentleman. Um, he's, he was a seven-time Grammy winner, but now he's an eight-time. Due to the fact he, he, he won a Grammy with one of his compadres for many years. I don't know if you guys know Terrence Blanchard is doing operas. Well, Jeff won another Grammy because he's an opera aficionado and a fan of the Pittsburgh Steelers. I mean, it's, it's blatantly obvious what team he's rooting for. And that's a good thing. We, you need to have a team and support, and you guys are supporting Tamara, so you guys are special. And I'm glad I could be back here, and uh, we played at Savannah with really well. But now this is the capper. This is the Pierce position. Fiesta resist, well, I'm messing up, man. <laughs> there you go. That's why I got him here to help me out. Cause some stuff I can't do, he can. But anyway, uh, yeah, this is our closing night of our Southern tour. Hopefully it won't be the last. And we're gonna play some music of John Coltrane, some music from my latest record and my previous recording. So sit back and enjoy it, and uh, thank you for coming out. This tune is entitled, um, this tune is entitled Borough of Kings, which is uh, the county that I was born in. I'm from Brooklyn, and Brooklyn is Kings County, so it's a borough of kings. Uh, you know, so play on words, but this tune is a description of Brooklyn. I'll tell you what I, I, how I, if I could make a video, the introduction is you waking up, and you have to go to work, and you got to get on the train and get to Manhattan. So imagine... When you hear the intro, you're waking up, you're taking a shower, and once we really start playing it, is when you walk out your door and it closes behind you, because now your ass is going to work, or going to do your day will be this kind of intensity.
clubs uh the owner doesn't have requests but Tamara's so special you know she wants you know could you play a song by uh oh boy here we go but the, the songs that she like are people that i like or songs that i play so how cool is that she's not like an uninformed person can you play that by uh what Who's that by? And we're gonna do a Kenny Garrett tune. She loves Kenny Garrett. Kenny Garrett played here, and uh, we're gonna play something by Kenny. 
It's entitled Haynes here, so we hope you enjoy it.
Thank you, thank you. As Chandler mentioned, we're celebrating the birthday and the spirit of Mr. John Coltrane. Actually, it was the 23rd, but it's so close. It's the Coltrane weekend, so, you know. We're going to play something that I learned from sneaking in my dad's room and turning down the stereo. My dad, this was just my father's saxophone, and uh, he had a very good friend that gave him this horn because they both played together, and they were roommates together. My dad practiced with him on the Williamsburg Bridge, and his name is Sonny Rollins. So I, I really treasure this horn. I feel like when I'm on, my, I'm on the trips, traveling around the world, because I lost my dad in 1989, that I got my dad with me all the time. So I'm here with my father enjoying the show, and we're going to do a, a tune. He used to play this album, and I used to sneak in the room and turn it down because I couldn't go to sleep. It was an album called Crescent. I just remember Crescent. Well, who's, what's Crescent? And it was a tune called Bessie's Blues, and it was one of the first tunes he gave me on the sheet of music. Ironic that I love playing it, so we're going to do that for you. Once again, Mr. Marius Vandenbrink on the piano. His first time here at the vel vel Velvet No, so he's a virgin. <laughs> well, they say, you know, I I'm not going to do that, though. It's, it's a family club. I'm, if I was in Brooklyn, I'd tear him to shreds with that one. But, you know, because Rodney's not. Rodney's been here. Rodney Jordan at the, at the base. He's <laughs> been around the block a few times. Not a virgin, not, 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 not even near that. And of course, this is not Jeff's first barbecue. Uh, definitely not a virgin. But, uh, you know, Marius, you just have to take it, you know, it's the rookie, you know, when you got a rookie and you got veterans, you know, they rib the rookie, you know. We're going to play this for you, Bessie's Blues. Thank you. 
Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, uh, we got to look like some very romantic couples in the club. And uh, I'm going to play a little ballad for you. Uh, it's not associated with maybe John Coltrane. I think maybe, I can't really say who it's associated with. It's a beautiful song and it's a very, the title says it all. We'll be together again. So uh, sit back and enjoy it. Once again, Mr. Jeff Tain Watts, y'all. Pittsburgh's finest. Representing, even got the towel, you know that, that, you know, the towel. Real quick, I was in San Francisco and uh, playing in a club and I go in the kitchen and said, yo, get your food from the chef. I go back to the chef, got on the shirt, the towel, the whole thing. I said, you, you a Steelers fan? All day, and he's in San Francisco, so now he's fighting against, the, you know, the gold and the burgundy and the, but anyway, I told him about Jeff, and he said, well, if he ever comes to this club, he got a free dinner on me. It's called Mama Ken's. You, but you see, I, I put it on Facebook. I can show you. I said, Jeff, the guy said, you got a meal. He says, I'm there. He wrote in the comment, I'm on my way. So, But we'll be together again. We'll do this for you right quick. He's look, this is real life. Y'all getting a whole... This ain't even part of the show. Like, y'all wasn't supposed to get that. See, but see, this we telepathic. We brothers. Some may, something's made me say it, and he's going to San Jose next week. I'm going to give him time. So all you got to do is show the chef show the chef the picture, and it's a wrap. But here's the, here's the funny other thing. I want to play music. This is the first time I played with Rodney. Now, Rodney came downstairs yesterday. We played Friday, and I just met him. But yesterday was more relaxed, so he came down in the lobby, and he got on a Pittsburgh Steelers shirt. And he hadn't, Jeff hadn't seen it, and I said, you a Steelers fan too? He shows me a picture of him with Jerome Bettis. And so I said, oh, these two are gonna have a love affair now. This is gonna be a football love fest in my band. Cause I ain't a Giants fan, I ain't a Jets fan, I'm a winning fan. I like tradition, I like the Steelers, Elsie Greenwood, Mean Joe Green, Franco Harris, Lynn Swan. Let me shut up.
Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna play one from my latest record. It's a fabulous record. It has some great musicians. First of all, I have, I'm honored to. It's my first recording with Mr. Jeff Tane Watts. He's on drums. There's a young lady on there singing who actually, me and Jeff are singing background vocals with us. We just, we have special gifts. And uh, we applied them in the vocal ease well, basically, I wanted to do the song as an instrumental, and I recorded, I needed background vocals as my guide, and then somebody said, I got my cousin's a singer, so what's her name? Samara Joy. I'm like, you mean the girl that won the, mo the, the, the competition? Yeah, yeah, she's my cousin. Basically, it's saying, you and Jeff can't sing, y'all need to let me get a... Well, we sang background, it's on the CD, you can purchase it, go home and listen to me and Jeff doing on and on, the rain will fall like tears from a star, like tears from a star. On and on, the rain will say how fragile we are, how fragile we are. So, you know, take it home. I can't, no, we can't do this. Stop, 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 stop. stop. 
Because you're going to make me put the horn down and do my, my Barry White. See, I'm really like a romantic guy. I'm a Barry White type singer. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to. No, I don't want to do that, man. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to do that. That's another headspace. More money too. See, Jeff, you, vocalists get paid. But anyway, we're gonna do a song of hope for y'all. It's on the record, and me and Jeff just as he just came. And you, you gotta hear it on the record though, because you hear Jeff. The rain will say, you'll know that's him.
Y'all give it up. This is Jeff Shane Watts, Marius, Marius, Rodden Brink. This is Roddy Jordan. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for coming out. You can purchase a CD at the front if you come outside and thank you. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. I have no reason to be on the stage right now. It was a miscommunication. Carry on. Oh 
only for Miss Tamara when I do it.
That's Eric Wyatt. With Art Marius Vanderbrink, Rodney Jordan, and Tay Watts. That was a request that turned into a masterpiece. Get up on your feet. You are never going to hear that again, ever, ever. Get on your feet. Oh my gosh. What? You better call your friends, tell them to tune into YouTube and listen to that because you're never going to hear it again. That was phenomenal. You two are mine. I expect you on that sofa every single weekend now. I win. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We loved having you and we would love to have you again. You can find all of our upcoming shows at thevelvetnote.com. This is what we love to do, which is to bring you closer to artists who inspire you, closer to each other, and closer to the song that's in your heart. Come and see us again. Good night.